Hello everyone, in this example we are going to show you how to do thorough pre-processing or data cleaning. For this example I am going to select a file with inospirization which is known to have a lower signal to noise ratio compared to resistivity. I'm going to select 2D, inverse and for this specific file format, we are going to use a syscal file format. Remember, it is one of our examples available on our repository. I'm going to the IP-2D and select IP underscore MICP underscore all dot CSV. Since this data contains phase shift values, you would see two different pseudosections one for apparent resistivity pseudo section and the other for phase shift. Since this data contains reciprocal measurements, you're able to see the probability of the error as well as the availability of phase filtering, resistance error modeling, and phase error modeling. The first step would be to clean up your data based on the available reciprocal measurements. I am going to select reciprocal error from the drop down menu. As you can see, there are some points that contain huge error. You can either click on them and manually remove them, or you can define a percentage. I'm defining 10%, which is going to be an absolute value, meaning that you would lose all the data below negative 10 and above 10% error. And I'm going to apply the filter. As you can see, your data looks much cleaner now. The other option would be to use the face filtering tab. You can fine tune your face shift data in here. Your options are range filtering, which you can remove the data outside of a defined range. Most of the environmental problems would have not so high phase angles, like 25 is good enough in milliradians. You also have the option of doing a decay curve analysis. For more information, please look at the reference done by Orozco et al. 2017, which basically is going to build a master decay curve and compare all the decay curves of single measurements with that, and if it's outside of a threshold, that data would be eliminated. This is can be time consuming because it needs to check all the individual data measurements. In these plots at the bottom, you would have the raw data measurements where you have the first current pair versus the first potential pair me measurements and the filtered ones. This is a good plot that you can see if you have nested measurements, reciprocal measurements, or the measurements that you clearly do not want. For example, all the data that are more than 25 milliradians are drawn in red and after the decay curve analysis filter most of them are gone. I also can remove the nested measurements if I don't like them and visually remove the reciprocal measurements just to see a better graph. Remember reciprocal measurements are not considered for the inversion. For this specific data set, I am going also to apply a range filter between 0 to 25 milliradians. And then I can invert my data. However, as you can see, the raw measurements were about 2600 measurements and after filtering, you are left with about 360. That not probably not good. So, I am going to reset the data. 
and just apply a phase range filter. Defining a linear error model shows that I have an R squared value of about 0.9 and if I do a power law it's even better. I would define an error model for my phase values as well and always remember if you define one error model for either resistivity or phase you have to define the other one as well. You can make a mesh or you can directly go to the inversion. Recipe will make a mesh for you directly. As you can see, your data converged three iterations for resistivity and one iteration for phase. The results clearly show a conductive top layer with a resistive layer underneath that. If I make the phase shift values plot, you can see you have some anomalies down here. In the post-processing, we can see the inversion went well. Thank you very much for watching this video.